Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Lena and welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about how Cambly Kids is hiring. Well, I'm an ESL online teacher and my channel is all about my experiences teaching online. So if you like to hear videos about my experiences, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you come back. But in this video, I wanted to tell you that Cambly Kids has sent out emails letting people know that they are hiring and they are in need of teachers. And this is a wonderful thing. They are a very um, flexible company to work for. They have a very simple curriculum to follow and they, it's, it's just, you could teach with so many children just all throughout the day. So, I mean, those are three wonderful reasons. Now, I will say their pay is not as competitive as other companies out here. And to work with them, it's $12 an hour, about, you know, you get $6 a class. Um, but uh, that, the flexibility of the company is awesome. And it's, it is a great place to start, especially if you don't have a lot of teaching online experience. It's a great place to get some experience because they're not that, you know, they're not really picky about things. You're like, you know, you don't, you won't have people emailing you telling you to do this in your class or that in your class or, you know, they're, they're not so strict about what your classroom looks like. And, you know, uh, it's just, you're, you're kind of like, you're, you're on your own now. Now, if you do a good job, more parents will want to come book you and then they will rate you and you'll get a higher rating. But if you, you know, if you don't do a great job, then obviously those things won't happen. So it's like you want to do your best, but I'm just saying it's a great place to start, get your feet wet um, with a company that's just not as demanding as these other higher paying companies. So you can practice a little bit with them on their very simple, uh, platform, simple curriculum that doesn't have a lot of animations and, you know, all of the bells and whistles of some of these other companies, but it's still, you know, they give you a sufficient amount of um, slides and, you know, more than enough slides to actually use. And, uh, uh, and if this, the slides are not so challenging for the kids, well, then you could start talking to them about their day or using your props to ask them questions about, or, you know, find other ways to make the class more interesting, because sometimes that'll happen too. The class might not always be very challenging for the student, so you have to find other ways to make it a little bit more challenging for them. But uh, it is nice that you can open up your schedule 24 hours a day with them, and depending on what time of day it is, you will get students from Saudi Arabia, from Japan, from Turkey, from Brazil, I mean, all over the world. So that part is really interesting and uh, one of my favorite parts about it because I get to talk to people from so many different areas. Uh, and, and that's another reason why I even like the Cambly side, just regular Cambly talking to the adults because you can have uh, such a nice time just speaking to students and, and hearing about their life in another part of the world. So. If you are interested in applying for Cambly Kids, I'm leaving my information down below. You can use my referral link and you can ask me any questions that you want. I do have more videos about teaching with Cambly Kids if you'd like to check those out too. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a little bit about the platform. So if you stay tuned, you can see that too. So thanks for watching. And please, if you wanna come back for more videos about my experiences, Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every week, sometimes more. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So for the Cambly slides, this is Cambly Kids. This is probably one of the earlier lessons, I think maybe lesson number one. And they give you simple slides to go through. They're colorful. You can have a lot of fun with them, ask them a lot of questions. These are, um, you know, they give you songs to go through with the kids. Five little monkeys jumping on a bed. <laughs> fun to sing, sing with the kids. And then you go through instructions or introductions with the student. 
um, hello, you know, basics, and you kind of go through just an, a basic conversation, and you keep practicing with the student. This is very basic information, but I just want you to see what it's like to teach with them. So before I was actually filming this video, I was in class with the student, but the student had disconnected. So I started to film this <laughs> uh, demo of the class for you to see the slides. And now the student is trying to reconnect with me. So my student is having trouble connecting and this often happens, you know, with especially with newer people. This is her first lesson. So she is, she might not realize where she can get a strong signal in her home. So you might have to go through this. So I just wait for her to call me back. <laughs> and this can sometimes run into little problems because if you have another class right afterwards, then you need to adjust your time to make sure that either you s speed the lesson up with the student or you might have to, um, you know, not finish all the slides with the student so that you can get to the next lesson. And But when you're in the classroom, you can see when the next student will call you. So you can choose to either teach until that moment or you can get off and um, end the class before uh, the next student calls. So it's up to you. So I went on to the um, enrolled classes for the student and this is this would be her next lesson and you can see it's very basic again. Oh, I lost it. Sorry. There we go. So it starts out again with another fun song and then you do simple matching exercises and try to extend maybe if the student is past the basic, you know, cat dog, you can ask her what color it is and practice some questions and they do a lot of repetition and then you get to oh this is a fun one which animal jumps that's a little bit more um interesting to talk about and and kind of act out with the student uh, it gives you something fun to do with them and then a lot of repetition about what you see i see a cat i see a dog and this can for some students, it, like I said, it could get a little bit basic and repetitious. So you really got to bring those extensions into the classroom in order to bring these lessons alive. But that's okay. I mean, you have props and, you know, color cards or a color wheel. I mean, you could do a lot to make the lesson more interesting. And that is part of the fun of it as a teacher, being a little creative and with your, your classes and not just leaving it all up to the slides. You kind of have to bring in some ideas to make you a little bit more unique in your teaching and and help the child to enjoy the class so this is this is a fun thing you can circle the black cats on this page you can look for the cats with stripes and um the your favorite cat you could talk about why you like cats or why this cat is your favorite or maybe you like the color of the cat or you know have you had a cat you know there's lots of ways to ask questions about it and here's the next page about dogs so that gives you some basics um, to understand what the lessons are like because they don't have animations on their lessons they're it's all you know just written material and you are the animated one in the classroom.